I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Schwazi, formerly known as Medicine Man Technologies, is buying 14 Starbucks locations in the state of Colorado as part of the company's pending acquisitions. The deal is valued at $118 million, and the locations are said to have earned $50 million in annual revenue. Hexo Corp reported that its revenue increased 30% sequentially to $30.9 million in the third quarter. Now the net losses fell to $19.5 million from the second quarter's kitchen sink net losses of a whopping $298 million. Now the revenues beat analyst estimates while the earnings per share missed by two cents. The troubled cannabis company Namaste Technologies continues its hard journey on the road to recovery as the company reported a 16% increase in net revenues to $5.3 million for the first quarter. Namaste said it was its highest quarterly revenue in two years. The company also reported that its net losses had been trimmed to $7.4 million from last year's $10.3 million for the same time period. Grow Generation announced a $35 million stock offering this week and the stock tumbled. They gave hints of potential COVID troubles ahead. Metafarm Labs closed a private placement with an institutional investor for gross proceeds of $37 million Canadian dollars. The company said it plans to use the money for general corporate purposes, including building on the launch of its cannabis 2.0 offerings with new product formats. Arcurna closed on a $17 million debt financing with two institutional investors. A leading cannabis manufacturer in California, ProCan Labs announced a victory in a monumental lawsuit against the state of California. The company was found to have $2.6 million in black market cannabis oil, as well as $620,000 in cash. Now, the judge ultimately ruled that the cannabis oil was legally produced, as well as ruling that the Controlled Substances Act does not apply to licensed cannabis businesses in the state of California. This could affect a lot of asset seizures going forward in the future. Vireo Health said that it has elected to terminate its employment agreement with Bruce Linton as executive chairman on an entirely without cause basis. Now, don't feel too bad for Bruce. He is also leading a $150 million SPAC. And this week, APRIA traded for the first time on the NASDAQ exchange using the symbol APHA. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Bortart reporting for the Green Market Report.